Hey, what's up? Be Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I have something special. I'm going to be giving you guys a first look at GBA for iOS 2.1. Yes, you heard me right. GBA for iOS 2.1, the massive update to GBA for iOS 2.0 that's going to contain a whole lot of things, including the fabled multiplayer. However, at the moment, this version of GBA for iOS 2.1 I have does not contain multiplayer. And that's because it's not yet complete. The developer is not happy with the way that the, um, the feature is at the moment. And that's for good reason, because of course, if that was finished, I'm sure he would have already released it out to you all. But this version of GBA for iOS that I have for you today features everything else that I think he intends on adding. Now, I just got this application last night, so I haven't really used it much, but I wanted to get this video out to you all as soon as possible following the hype train that Dario and, of course, the developer Riley Testud are making with their blog post that they're going to post out today that I highly recommend you check out. It's probably going to have more information in this video, but in written form, so you can check that out. In the description below however i'm just gonna go through my journey of this new application with you all and let's find what there is in store so the first thing i want to show you guys is honestly awesome i did open the application and played with um a game just for a little bit just to test out to make sure it was working but the first thing i want to show you is awesome let me make sure i have my volume up for this it is awesome you guys need to see this it is amazing all right so when you launch a game check this wasn't that amazing a custom GBA for iOS intro which is awesome and I'm sure as you can already tell we also have a new skin so this is the new skin that will be featured in GBA for iOS 2.1 that I also believe will be coming with different color variations, a lot of different color variations. If I remember correctly, Paul Thorson did tweet out a photo of a ton of skins in this style in different colors that will be coming out in GBA for iOS 2.1. But currently, this is the skin that comes with GBA for iOS, so it's the only one that I have at the moment. But let's head into the settings and let's see what's new. As you can see, we have some of the features that we've had in the past that we all know and love, frame skip, preferring ex external audio, auto save, push notifications, and now we have a new one, which is the original Game Boy. And now basically what this does is when you play a Game Boy game, it will change the color of the Game Boy game, giving it a nice little um, palette, as you can see. If you read it, it says the palette you select will determine the color of any original Game Boy games you play. So. I used yellow earlier just to check out to see how it looks. So this time let's go with red and it only makes sense because I'm going to be testing this on Pokemon Red. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and as you can see also a new Game Boy, a Game Boy Color skin. Um, very similar to the old one but it still is new. And now let's head straight into this and you can already see that it already has a little shading of red right there. But as you can see now the palette is red. It's not full color as I'm sure some of you may expect but it does give a little colorful aspect to playing your original Game Boy games however if you would like to play Pokemon red or blue in full color I do have a video on that linked in the description below if you're so inclined to check it out looking at our menu everything does look the same um, I don't see anything really different with our menu which is good Famili familiarity is a thing and I can truly appreciate that. So everything does look the same. Even our sustain button. Everything is good there. However, I'm sure you guys saw some other new things in the settings while we were there earlier. And the next thing I want to show you, of course, is web browser. Above that, you can see emulation. The intro animation that I showed you that was awesome. Um, you can turn that on or off if you so choose. Um, along with now the web browser. Now, as you all know... When you go to the magnifying glass here, it takes you to Google, and from here you can get your ROMs if you are um, smart enough to do it. Now, if you have been a fan of GBA for hours for a while, you will remember that this was a plus a sign at one point that would take you directly to CoolROM.com 
to get your games. But unfortunately, the developer did have to take that out to avoid um, legal issues with uh, Nintendo. But with this new web browser feature, you can find a little loophole, and that's by doing custom. And here you could put in your home your own homepage. I just put coolrom.com as you can see here. So exploiting this little loophole when you click on the magnifying glass it'll take you directly to coolrom.com and now from here you can get your games as you would normally do and just open it in directly from the web browser of gba for ios and never leaving having to leave the application which i think is truly amazing but with all that out of the way i honestly have not been able to find any other significant features in the new GBA for iOS 2.1. Of course, this is absent of multiplayer that I'm sure you all wanna see. However, I'm sure there's a lot of things that I missed and that you're going to read in Riley and Dario's blog post linked in the description below. However, if you would like a more in-depth video on every feature in GBA for iOS 2.1, similar to my first video I ever made, on GBA for iOS 2.0 when I was a beta tester you can see it on the screen now everything you need to know about GBA for iOS 2.0 I can definitely do that for you guys on 2.1 but I will need the support I'm not quite sure if you all want it but if you do want it make sure you hit that like button let's say for example if this video gets 500 likes I will definitely start working on that video for you all because that just shows me that you all are interested in watching that video and I shouldn't focus on another one. So please do that if you want to see that video and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first look at GBA for iOS 2.1. I wanted to get this video out to you all ASAP because I've always promised you guys that I will be the first to let you know on anything GBA for iOS that I think is truly amazing. So, if you'd like to be updated on everything GBA for iOS, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.